through Mr. Nels, Mr. Hunt, and Mr. Rooley, and then, uh, I, again, I apologize for the long day and the, and the breakup, but we'll go as quickly as we can here. The gentleman from New Jersey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. To our witnesses here today, I am sorry for your pain. I can't say that I know what it feels like as a father and now a grandfather. I don't. Nobody will ever know. People shouldn't even say that in my mind. I am sorry, though. And there's no words I can say, but the worst of all of this is it didn't have to be this way. You know, I hear crocodile tears. I hear people, they should rot in hell, they should this and that. But we can fix this. And it should have been fixed. And it wasn't this way. Names like Lakin, Weston, Rachel, Kayla. Human souls, human beings that were raped, that were murdered, that were disfigured, that were tortured and thrown away like garbage. And this is because, and I'm going to say it, of the Harris Biden failure. And everybody can say what they want to over there, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And I'm sad to say this because I don't want to be mean. I do not want to be partisan, but I'm simply telling you the truth. The truth is tens of thousands of Americans are being killed by fentanyl, and you know it. I don't have to repeat all the testimony that you all gave, and that drug flows freely through our borders. The truth is, in Aurora, Colorado, gangs of Venezuelans are taking over apartment buildings and extorting rent from people. Think how scared those people are. They're having to pay them money so that they can live safely in their own home. The truth is, in Ohio, Haitian migrants are beheading the ducks in public parks. And yes, it's weird. It is weird. But we didn't bring that weirdness here. We didn't bring that distorted behavior here. But it's forced on a small town in Ohio when 30,000 illegals have been pushed upon them by the federal government. The truth is that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden let these people in. You all remember when the administration changed and they had T-shirts on at the other side of the border, Kamala Harris T-shirts and Joe Biden T-shirts. There was a reason for that. It is tell the truth time for a change. Who rescinded the executive orders, the executive orders that Donald Trump had put in that were there to protect us? Who wouldn't finish the wall? Who wouldn't keep the Remain in Mexico policy? Who instituted catch and release into our country? Who let Title 42 lapse with no replacement at all? Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. When you do wrong, you have to own up to it and be blamed. And when our party, and I hope you'll look at old videos from the past, because this is not the only hearing we've had. We've had these hearings all across the country. When we brought these concerns up, the left laughed at us. And they said they were fabricating stories and that we were being political. This is the end result of what they did. I pray to God, and I mean this, I pray every single day. And I'm not giving you a political speech. I pray to God that Americans see and know this truth. They trusted our government. They trusted them to protect us from foreign threats. They trust, their trust was shattered and it was destroyed by that administration. Our witnesses today, your stories, that's the truth. It's the ugly, horrible, sinful truth. The truth is this administration knowingly, purposefully, methodically, destroyed our protection at the southern border. That is the truth. They may not like it now. It's an election year. So now we care about the border. It's a lot of bull. I'm telling you the truth. Month after month, we watched year after year as millions of illegal immigrants poured into this country. We watched as tens of thousands of pounds of fentanyl poured into this country, killing our youth, keep killing our most vulnerable, good kids, that made sometimes just one mistake. And we watched as terrorists come into our country. We've got hundreds of terrorists in our country. We don't know where the hell they are, what they're doing, and what they're going to do. And you know what we watched? Kamala Harris and Joe Biden do absolutely nothing and welcome it. Worse than all, they encouraged it. They've created this evil, and it is evil in our country. Not all undocumented are evil, but the process is evil and wrong, and it allows evil to come in. And you know what? When they asked her, and we all remember, it's on video. 
It's not hard to find. They asked her about it. What did she do? Do you remember? She laughed. She laughed. She said she hadn't been in Europe. She hadn't been at the border. She didn't give a damn. It was a joke. It was funny. It isn't funny. Your lives will never be the same. That's not funny. And over here, we here know that we're really better and safer in the country because of illegals. And we're even told that they are better and safer than our own Americans, that our own Americans commit more crimes. And they've even said it today in this hearing room. You heard it. So I'm going to bring you real quick questions. Mrs. Ms. Funder, is that fentanyl lace pill hadn't been smuggled across our border, would your son still be here today, yes or no? Yes. Ms. Moran, if the man who murdered your daughter had been stopped at the border, would your daughter still be here today? Yes or no? Yes. Ms. Nobles, would your daughter be here today if an MS-13 gang member with a history of murder was stopped at our border and sent back to where he came from? Yes or no? Yes. God help us. We must be strong. We can't save these shattered lives. But if we want to do something in their name, that next bill that we finally get through and pass, when we have a new president, should be named for all of you. And their lives will still have meaning, and your lives have meaning. Chairman, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well said by my friend here, Mr. Van Drew.